Um, as you know, maybe you know, I don't know if you've known this, but in the news recently, there have been a number of cases, both in Sweden and in Denmark, uh, where uh, people have uh, gone out and uh, burnt copies of the Quran. As a consequence of these burnings, there have been riots all over uh, in, in a variety of different Middle East countries, specifically in Iraq and I think in, in Pakistan, where uh, the uh, Danish and Swedish embassies were attacked um, and, uh, and, and, and generally uh, Muslims around the world claim to be super upset by the fact that um, the Quran has been uh, burned. Specifically last month, uh, a, a video was circulating of a Danish nationalist burning a Quran uh, and hundreds of Iraqi protesters tried to storm the, Den the Danish embassy in Baghdad. You could ask a good question of why Denmark has an embassy in Baghdad, but put that aside. Uh, uh, you know, Erdogan in Turkey is threatening again to try to, you know, stop Sweden from becoming a member of NATO because a Swede uh, burns a copy of the Quran in, 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 in Sweden. As a, uh, as a response, the uh, brave, courageous, inspiring Danish government has decided to make the uh, desecration of, um, of uh, uh, holy uh, symbols and texts, uh, they've decided to make that illegal. Um, so um, you can't desecrate religious uh, symbols. Uh, it wouldn't apply, by the way, to clothing, and it wouldn't apply to satirical drawings. So it wouldn't apply to the cartoons, but it would apply to, uh, I guess, to uh, burning of crosses, maybe. It would apply to... Um, uh, uh, Jesus, uh, was it urinals made with Jesus on them? It would apply to burning of the Torah or the Quran or the New Testament, Torah being the Old Testament. It would apply to any of these things, right? That, that is the solution. The solution is uh, cowardice, uh, not to stand up. And this is why, by the way, the Danes and the Swedes and the rest of Europe cannot assimilate the Muslim or any other population that, that comes into their countries because they won't stand up for their own values. They won't stand up for free speech. They won't stand up for the rights of their own people. They capitulate and, and, and give in every time. And of course, if you do that, all that does is emboldens the violent. Right now they're saying it doesn't, it doesn't affect cartoons. Why? Because if you remember, it was in Denmark that the famous Muhammad cartoons were published. And they don't want to appear anti-free speech. Cartoons, that's kind of accepted as speech. <sighs> but of course, once you do it to religious symbols, why not cartoons? Why not clothing? Why not saying? Why not speaking? Of course, we already have extensive hate speech laws on the books all over Europe, those, by the way, not to protect the sensibilities of Muslims, but to protect the sensibilities of Jews. I mean, that was all started, uh, that was all started as, as uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, bans against Holocaust deniers. So, uh, it's just horrible. I mean, uh, the lack of respect for free speech, uh, the lack of, re of respect for individual rights, the lack of respect for individual autonomy, and, and really the willingness of Western governments to uh, succumb and to give in and to just fold in the face of violence. And when you fold in the face of violence, all you get is more violence. And... Uh, you don't, you're not bolstering your own culture, you're not protecting your own identity. All you're doing is, is giving in. You're losing. Uh, Islam is winning in Europe, not because of Muslim immigrants. Islam is winning in Europe because of the cowardice of the West. Because the West are cowards. 
you know, I, I was thinking I should have, um, I should bring uh, one of my Thursday interviews. I should interview um, Fleming Rose. I need, a, I need to get in touch with him and interview Fleming Rose, the guy, the publisher in Denmark, in Copenhagen, who published the Danish cartoons in 2005. That would be an interesting interview and bring maybe some context into this.